DACA protections apply to people from many parts of the world. It covers young people from Latin America, Mexico, China, parts of Europe, and Africa. I spoke to some CSUN students from Africa who were affected by DACA. The Pew Research Center says over 4,000 people from Africa living in the U.S. are DACA recipients, many of whom are students. Cal State University Northridge graduate Umu Rogers from Sierra Leone, Africa, says her dad is the reason she's here. It was always a thing that we would come here for college, um, and so my dad applied for the diversity visa, which is something that America does in like different countries. Students like Rogers are hardly recognized when it comes to DACA because the southern part of the U.S. borders Mexico, Mexican immigration is more of a focus. But CSUN professor Amy Glocky says people from several backgrounds face the threat of deportation. At the time, I have quite a few DACA students. Most of mine are Latino students, but still we have some African students as well. And the idea is, is like you see them Fear, be fearful. You feel, you see them fear for fear against immigration. You're, you're being, um, you know, uh, taken away because of immigration. While the government might be making it hard for these students to get an education in this country, Professor Glocky says they should never give up. Stay and fight. You deserve an education. You deserve to be here, and we got your back. CSUN student Helena McConan goes from the U.S. to Ethiopia every six months to renew her green card. She said. The Ethiopian government restricted her from studying what she wanted. In America, she can study whatever she wants. I had to take the chance to come here because, you know, I want to study what I want, what I truly, like, feel passionate about. Both Rogers and McConan found their passion. They want to work in the medical field. I hope to pursue uh, global health in the long run. I want to go to med school, so uh, medicine is like my passion. 